we are dealing with a highly developed enemy with a far more superior intelligence than even the brightest human slaves. So here to the left, it says the white slave, the white European slave, the peasant. And here to the right, it says here, master of Pharaoh's nobility in a thousand year old feudal system. The white slave has been a slave for 2000 years of these here on the right hand side, Pharaoh's nobility. The masters are highly organized, whereas humans are everyone for him or herself. And they make use of demons and other witchcraft practices that were already widely spread in ancient Egypt. And here to the left, it says the master race. And to the right here, it says the white slave race. So here you see the teeth, the uh, Europeans like head in medieval times, and which is coming back today with all the drug addicts everywhere. With these here, making a lot of money through the international drugs business. The human males have always been categorized into two groups, the alpha males and the beta males, the leaders and the followers. But lately there has been talk about a third category. Here it says Swiss police bully. And I've always seen other men as dogs who are either loud mouthed alpha macho types whom I hate, or they are obedient little beta poodles whom I despise. I always felt more like a cat doing its own things. And when the menacing alpha dogs came barking too near, I just scratched them without a word. And in silent mode, without all that ridiculous alpha stuff, blowing themselves up and what not. And what does any bold alpha or beta dog do when scratched by a cat? Yeah, they whine, squeak and run for help to the masters. Just like here. Hello, police, please help me. I'm so afraid of that cat. I'm just a poor alpha doggy doggy. And I always had the same with these macho alpha aggressors slipping into the victim's role and call for the police. He hit me. I didn't do anything. Therefore, I was quite pleased to hear that recently the psychologists finally discovered a third male category that doesn't want to lead as an alpha, nor does it want to be led as a beta, the Zygma male as in Zygma Sean, Pharaoh's nuisance, not fitting into any societal role model, doesn't take any orders, doesn't feel like giving any orders either, just leave me alone, says Sigma the cat, 
go alpha beta yourselves it says the sigma male busted this is why in ancient egypt there are so many beings with different animal heads who are no gods but just different psychological types of man like sobek the crocodile character for instance which is greedy and could best be compared to a swiss banker or to swissy zepp blatter the swiss fifa villain whom you can see here but okay this film is not about egypt's animal pantheon we can do that some other time that would take too much time now and here it says sobek the croc or sobek the creepy croc and the egyptian sobek is synonymous for greed the sigmas make up less than 0.1 percent of all males and don't need to lose so much energy to that stupid alpha beta role model play to impress the environment here are 11 personality traits of a sigma male one he likes to fly solo and is very independent two he has a mysterious personality three he likes silence four he lives life on the edge five he is extremely smart six he has a rebellious spirit seven he is never short of attention eight he has an abstract way of thinking nine he has his own distinctive style ten he is a deep thinker and eleven he can adapt to anything so can you imagine how much valuable time you win in life when you don't need all that senseless alpha beta stuff to either have a fancy muscle car for the vociferous alpha behavior to impress others like women or the lower beta poodle Harasho, angie let's take her for a spin shall we yet oh yes my rusky alpha prince we can drive back to the base in the alps where there is the davos meeting in Switzerland, and have our coffee and cake together with klaus and sub and what about the vodka or all the time you lose as a beta poodle and spending so much time to have a car that serves like a worker's pickup a family car or whatever well here is the whatever version and then there are the typical alpha beta jobs alpha beta clothes haircuts sporting clubs hobbies all to impress the either alpha surroundings or beta surroundings a sigma just doesn't need all that so can you imagine how much time that leaves for a sigma to think to ponder to evaluate to record to observe to dream to philosophize and to compare so forget 
about those impressive alpha males who are far too busy with their own egos to find a solution and forget the beat up poodles who just feel lost without a collar, without a leash and without the occasional kick in the ass by the master. No, forget about the alpha beta males who will never do anything but watch out for the silent sigma because you never know what's on a cat's mind or when the lone wolf strikes from out of the dark and the strike from the dark can be both physical and metaphysical as metaphysics is the sigma thing Metaphysics means the fundamental nature of reality, the first principles of being, identity and change, space and time, causality, necessity and possibility. So I read it for you here. The Sigma male special made for the end times. I can promise you that. Be aware now. So the exclusion game is in fact the worst structure the system can enforce on a Sigma male. Because solitude is exactly what a Sigma feeds on as he doesn't need any societal role model interaction. Therefore, society's exclusion game in order to break the willpower of any recalcitrant individual is totally counterproductive in the case of a Sigma. The exclusion game works on the alpha male because he needs the other dogs around to bark on. And the exclusion game also works on the beta male because he needs orders in a given structure. But the exclusion game will have a sigma even drift away further from the entire compulsory structures of Pharaoh's dictatorship. Therefore, it is only in silent self-contemplation, without the outside noises of the daily show around us, one can observe the true nature of things, also called metaphysics. And I'll read it for you, as usual. The exclusion game and the sigma equation. Now, what does that mean? Equation, you see, there's almost the word equal. Equal, shun, equation. So that means if you do a comparison with the exclusion game in comparison with sigma, they are equal as in equation. Now, let's therefore observe the total discrepancy in between the Ukraine narrative and the narrative for the Western slaves. The same Western media apply the hero narrative for the Ukraine war of only the real man going into the war, kill other human beings, defend the Ukraine, bring the ultimate sacrifice and die. Whereas Pharaoh's narrative by the same Western media is exactly the opposite. 
where it is even forbidden to defend yourself and even freedom of speech is being punished with life sentences in prison like they do to Julian Assange, to me, Sean Ross, or to the whole catch deniers in the Western total dictatorship. So I read it out loud for you. Dear Ukrainians, the West is a terrible dictatorship. Don't believe their promises. So I'll explain you the uh, picture. To the left, you know, it says glory to Ukraine, glory to heroes, a, a bunch of guys with assault rifles, go kill. And to the right, this is the situation in the Western world where a man is just like a doggy doggy, you know, don't do this, do this, behave. You know, everything is forbidden nowadays. You go to prison for everything. And, and you know, and, and don't even, I'm not even talking about like, go kill someone, you know, where on the, on this side, the narrative is kill, kill, kill by this very same Western media. I mean, this is schizophrenic. How come the same Western media, they say, go kill, kill, kill in the Ukraine. And in the Western world, it's like, shut up, behave, don't do this, and um, do as we tell you. Otherwise, you go to prison for opening up your mouth. So what's going on? I mean, this is really sickening that the very same media and the masters behind it, they have an entirely opposite, different narrative for Eastern Europe as they have for Western Europe. So why? Why is this? You know, I mean, this is a lie. They must be lying. How come the same media, they tell the people here the entire opposite, the other side of the coin almost, or literally, as they do to these slaves here? Now, how come? Well, we're being manipulated by their lies. They want these people to die. And this part is the result of the Horus Matrix. This is already how they want the man to be. And when these men are all dead, their sons, just as it happened in the West through two world wars, their sons of Ukrainians and Russians and Chechnyans, they're gonna be like doggy doggy, and listen to the um, listen to the women. The man is like uh, Jesus on the cross. He's got his in the West. He's got his hands nailed, so he can't defend himself. He got his feet nailed. He can't run away. He can only move his head and say yes, darling, no, darling. And the witches of the West, they have an alliance with the uh, with the masters which they made uh, in the castles. So dear Ukrainians and dear Russians, because the, the same narrative is going to, is, is being applied to both of you. Don't believe the media and don't believe the West because this is the end result. So stop the killing. You know, you must stop it now. Go stop the killing. And again, it's not the Russian people who are bombarding the Ukrainian towns. And it's not the Ukrainian army that bombarded uh, civilians in the Donbass. It's the enemy within who's doing this. And this is the end result they want for humanity. Yeah. So birdie birdie here. They want birdie birdie to be the, the, the head of the nest because the man can see the danger. So they want to keep the man all down through a, a terrible conspiracy uh, by the politicians and um, by all these she males. They're more male than she, so I call them she males. And um, so 
wakey wakey ukrainians wakey wakey russians uh, wakey wakey chechnyans because your sons are gonna be like this this is the horus matrix and of course the narrative by the Ruski media is the same hero narrative as in the Ukraine. Like defend Mother Russia, only a real man goes into the war and kills the Ukrainian enemy. And in fact, you know, the um, etymology of the word patriarchy here the pink list killers they say use a, a a direct energy weapon like a phaser to kill the patriarchy and the etymology of the word patriarchy it comes from the latin pater pater and then archos archos is to rule in greek like jean d'arc joan of arc from archos or the um um, the Ark of Triumph in uh, Paris, etc. It means to rule. And the word pater, it means father. So it does say kill the fathers. And this is the Horus Matrix. They know exactly what they're doing. Kill the fathers and um, no father can tell the son, you know, like life is about this and this. And uh, so they could, the... Um, the masters can together with the witches they can raise the children exactly how the way they want and uh, make pink list killers out of them or whatever obedient servants and uh, it's it's the same like if you want to make a doggy doggy out of a wolf well you have to kill the fathers right? that, that's how you do it so on the left hand side you can see here the brave Kozak people very brave people, big fight, big fighters. And here is a, a Soviet uh, partisans who fought the Nazis with the German Schmeisser MP40 machine pistol, which they robbed from the Germans. And here you can see Ukraine's soldier of today. So this is the narrative by the very same newspapers you know, the, it's the hero narrative for Russians and Ukrainians. And the very same newspapers and politicians and Justice Department and military, they have the narrative, this is the narrative they have for the West. Same politicians, you know, like this, because this is the end result of the Horus Matrix. You know, they're already satisfied with the man being on his knees on on all his fours and listening to the birdie birdie this this is how it is in the west so the result will be this so i urge you dear eastern europeans and ukrainians and russians stop killing each other because you're gonna lose because there's a third war or a second war it's the war behind or i, I wanted to say there's a third enemy which is the enemy within, like Putin, like Zelensky, like Biden, Macron. It's the enemy within, the pharaohs. And they want to recreate the males, not anymore after the image of, of a brave Cossack warrior, but after the image of evil. You know, he's just, just, just a beta poodle. It's nothing... This is the male, you know, the brave Germanic and Celtic tribes. This is what's left of them. Everything is forbidden in the West. And now in the Ukraine, by the same media, you can do anything you want. For the Russians, you can rape. Go ahead, you know, go, go rape some girlies, you know. And for the Ukrainians, you can kill and murder and, and torture, whatever. And in the West, everything is forbidden. So how come the same politicians in the same Western media have such a discrepancy? You know, they're lying. It's an agenda behind it. Can't you see that? And I tell you, dear Eastern Europeans, when all the Ukrainian and Russian heroes 
will be dead after the war and after the coming US and allied NATO invasion in both Ukraine and Russia in the last year of the war, your sons have to live like obedient little cowards as in the West, where all the heroes died in two world wars and the Thirty Year War, making their sons through Pharaoh's Horus Matrix into obedient little slaves of Pharaoh, of the European witches and of their pink list killers who even openly advocate the killing of the patriarchy, which is an appeal for violence. Which is no problem for YouTube or Google and, and the rest of the, of the lot, you know. So, again, dear Ukrainians and Russians, I respect the Cossack warriors I, very, very much. As I told my Native American fans that we are all tribes. I mean, does, doesn't he look like an, like an Indian, like an Apache or whatever? We are all tribes, that's what I've been telling you, the Maori, even, even the jaywalkers and the Arabs, we're all tribes, the Germanic tribes, Celtic tribes, we have only one enemy, which is Pharaoh. And the man will be dead, you know. And your boys, your sons, will have a, a leash around their necks and standing next to this pink thing here. This is what they want. So. Well, in the end game, there won't be any more man like this tribal man. There won't be any more man that can stand up and 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 fight evil. You know, when they come with the mark of the beast, and there won't be any more man to defend humanity. Well, honestly, you're not going to think that these things here are going to defend humanity, eh? Well, he did. But he killed the wrong ones. You all believed your politicians and you, and you butcher each other. So I, I urge you all, stop the bloodshed and uh, direct your energies upwards towards the enemy within our masters. And America always comes in the last year of the war to finish off the tired and exhausted soldiers who had already been fighting for years as the fresh and well-nourished US soldiers entered the war in 1917 and 1944 at the end of two world wars. It says, always the same strategy of the New World Order U.S. Army as in 1917 and 1944. And if you don't know your history, you will never understand what they will do next because it's getting so boring. They always use the same techniques, the same strategy, the same tactics, the same agenda. Look, he's got the agenda in a suitcase. Why is a soldier with the suitcase? Oh yeah, the computers, okay. So this picture, the last one, and the following army pictures are from now, 2000 and 23 and 2022 with US and NATO troops uh, amassed in Poland and Romania and uh, Slovakia the Baltic Republic um, they're all prepared it's um, the clash is coming so here it says the new world order US army will finish off the exhausted Russian troop, just as they did with the uh, German troops in 1917 and in 1944, uh, in the last years 
of the war. Same old, same old. Always the same techniques. Because America really is the biggest horizontal New World Order Republican rule in the world, and the second one. Switzerland was the first, but of course they don't have a huge army like this. Though they have the Octagon army all over the world, even inside the US army. So it's always the same people. And um, yeah, I guess World War Three is coming up. Pharaoh's nobility always uses the same technique, just as in 1917 and 1944. And if you see the huge amount of amassed troops at the, well, let's say, Soviet borders, Belarus and Russia, it can't be other then the, uh, they are preparing, or they already have prepared World War III. But don't worry, they're not going to use atomic bombs, though they will use a lot of new weapons, like the, uh, like the pinkless killer phases and whatnot. 1917, 1944, and 2023 identical. And if you think about it, 1917, that was the before last war, last year of the war. And 1944 was um, the second last year of the war. So 2023 is probably also the second last year of the war. So the war, World War III, will probably end in 2024. Um, probably also May the 8th, you know, something around there. And then they're going to push us the, um, the chip and the, um, the uh, electronic money and the total control um, system, the whole, the whole evil stuff. So um, I'd say, you know, we got time until uh, 2024. Well, actually, we don't have any more time, but uh, yeah. Again, these are all actual photographs from now. 2023-2022, huge amounts of NATO, US New World Order troops amassed at the uh, Russian-Belarus uh, borders. So, you know, they're not going to fly them back, you know, just having done nothing and ha having had a good time there. Hey, we all know how it goes. So here it says, World War III, 1917, 1944, 2023. It's always the same people. You have to know their agenda. You have to know history. And um, in order to know what they're planning. So now the US NATO New World Order Army being ready and amassed at the Russian and Ukrainian border to do the same as in two world wars. It's always the same technique, people. It says, always last year of the war, when they come with totally fresh troops and they just finish off the demoralized uh, adversary. It's all a setup, it's all planned, just as it happened in 1917. And then we had right after in 1918 this terrible sort of Spanish flu, uh, which happened probably because of vaccinations all these soldiers got. Uh, which had the flu in it, and then they passed it on to 
families and relatives and everyone. And then 1944, the war ended in 1945. Here too, the war ended in 1918. There's always the, the, the year just before the end. And now in 2023. It's unavoidable. So if you look at, the, um, at this here and the similarity, the war will probably end in 2024. And then there will be the total control evil system with all they can do against us. Here you can see the Ukrainian uh, Rivnia. I hope I pronounced that right. The uh, 500 Rivnia money in the Ukraine. Here it says uh, Ukraina here. And here it says 2006. So do you see something special here in the image? Yeah, look, like on the $1 bill. There's the pyramid and the all-seeing eye, which is the concept of three. And so is the circle. So it says them, our masters, because this is the hierarchy of the pyramid. And... Um, which is them, all going all the way to the top, the alpha here, the first one where Pharaoh is, and at the bottom are we, the people. There should be somewhere the concept of four, but I, I can't really see it. Uh, maybe this one here, if you see it in perspective, like, like it's, it's a square which is like uh, tumbled over in a way. There are, are four parts of windows here, but that's a bit far, far searched. Um, I don't really see the typical uh, concept of four, but it is there. It's 100% uh, it's here. So the majority of the Ukrainian and Belarusian people are already ready to welcome the US and allied invasion to come and save them from the Russians. Only the Russians aren't ready yet. So therefore, the Putin dictatorship of the Nazi Templars now in 2023 is augmenting their attacks on the Russian people by grabbing Russian men from the streets, stuff them into a uniform and send them to the front in the Ukraine war. I read it for you here. Are you ready to accept the US culture? This is what the, the masters think about the Russian people. Are you ready to accept the US and New World Order culture? We'll force you into acceptance, you know, by beating them up. And the New World Order NATO army will liberate Russia. You know, when the Russians, they have really have enough of it. They're standing with their backs against the wall because of the Nazi terror here by the Russian police. And then they're, they're ready to accept everything. And here it says, this is the plan. It's easy. They have always been doing this, people. Just look at history. Then, consequently, they force the Russian conscripts into some barracks, pass on the coordinates to Pharaoh's cannoneers inside the Ukrainian army and blow them to pieces in order to make the Russian people ready in their minds for a US allied invasion to liberate Mother Russia from themselves and the Putin dictatorship so i'll read it for you here 
the Nazis won the war. They left Germany in rubbles and went to Russia and to America, where they continued their evil deeds. And how is this possible that it can go on and on and on? Because it all comes out of the ancient orders of the Nazi Templars. I'll read it for you here. The Black Prince, so that's Putin, of Octagon Teutonic Knights. And when I had infiltrated in Switzerland the Swiss Octagon, I heard them talk about their Swiss sleeper agent, Mr. Putin here, by calling him the Black Prince, which is his code. And that's why he's got all his money in Switzerland. He's got his wife and kids living in Geneva because the Knights Templars, they founded Switzerland. And then they went over in the Teutonic Knights who went to the Baltic and they ruled there for another, they did another crusade for another 200 years and they're still ruling there. And Mr. Putin, he is exactly from that area of the Teutonic Knights. You have to dig into history to, uh, to understand today's things uh, going on. And it's all a Freemason pharaonic setup with Putin, Macron, Zelensky, Biden and the rest playing the game to create a big Western New World Order horizontal pharaonic dictatorship ruled by Octagon and their Swiss base in the Alps. A worldwide dictatorship of little obedient cowards taking orders from witches and pink list killers. When I saw this Makaka primate in a nature documentary, I thought by myself, why is that face and that smile so familiar to me? And when the nature documentary got interrupted by an important news bulletin here in France, it was like a continuation of that nature documentary and seeing all of a sudden all the same faces and all the same smiles of all these politicians in the news bulletin as I saw just before about seduction during the mating season in the animal documentary. So I made this collage for you where it says in French here, macaque sourire pour séduire. It should actually have an accent, but it, I couldn't find it with the capital letters. And it, it, this means macaque sounds a bit like Macron, doesn't it? It's alliterating with Macron and um, it means the macaca uh, primate. And sourire pour séduire, it means to smile for the seduction. Just as I just saw in the animal documentary about seduction during the mating season. And after that, <laughs> I just couldn't resist the temptation to make myself and yourselves some more charming collages out of the animal world. And here it says in French, le système macaque. It means the macaca primate system. Here it says in French, on est mort de rire. And mort, it means death. Um, I wrote it in capital letters, you know, because it's like, you know, 
it's it's related to death for us it's serious and here it means to laugh which is funny well death isn't funny you know so it's quite cynical what it says here and um, it means it uh, literally it says um, like we are dead laughing you know the which is cynical you know we the people we think it's so funny but it really it isn't funny there's no translation for it directly in english in english you would say um, this is dead funny you know and uh, that would be the english equivalent it's dead funny and these there are even more similarities you know between the animal world and the polit politicians world and especially linguistically as the animal world also gets called the animal kingdom just as pharaoh's kingdom ruling over us in real beastly style well isn't that funny Ace, we say.